Uh, how did you get started in uh, graffiti down your path? Well, I got started you know, when I was a kid back in the late 70s. I, I pause a little bit because it seems like an eternity now. But uh, yeah, I started out just as a kid, really trying to you know, really just make a, a, a mark for myself, make a, a name, not really thinking about any sort of idea about a career. Just, you know, just trying to do what the older kids are doing, really. And, and, and how, how did it, um, how did it trans, when did you realize that there could be a career in this? What, what was the sort of pivotal, was it gradual or did just something happen where you just... It was, uh, it was definitely gradual, but, you know, it wasn't until the early 80s when I think I saw people like Keith Haring and Jean-Michel Basquiat starting to make a little bit of headway. And even myself, I started to sell some paintings and I had gallery representation and I thought, wow, you know, maybe there's something to this. But keep in mind, again, I'm still, you know, 20 years old, so that still seemed really young to me at the time. And I just thought, okay, if I can find a way to even maintain this. But, you know, long term, was never something I really ever thought about. It was just, wow, this is really great. And I'm young, so I'm thinking about just having a good time for the most part. And I'm selling work and doing what I love, but I never really thought of it as a career in my mind. Um, and how did you transition from, say, doing the art, urban art to actually getting in a gallery? Were, were you, were people, uh, were you approached? Well, what happened, the way I, I kind of made the transition was, you know, I had gotten to a point where I was doing illegal graffiti, but, you know, that only goes so far. And then really what happened was the city started to clamp down on everybody that was doing graffiti on the subways. And so I was looking for some other way to transition from doing trains. And so I started painting walls and uh, store gate fronts for money. And so doing that, that kind of gave me the idea of thinking, okay, maybe there's some other way to you know, do what I love and turn it into something positive. And then I, I started painting on canvas because some of my friends started doing it. And I found a gallery in lower Manhattan that was interested in my work and they decided that they wanted to represent me. And you know, really there was nothing to think about. There was no alternative. So if somebody's paying attention to the work that I'm doing, I'm excited, I'm all in. Right, but you approached the gallery. Yeah, yeah, I, I approached the gallery. Basically what happened was I saw an article in a newspaper and I went down with one of my paintings and they just accepted me because the work was already being done. And you have to remember that that was very early on. This is 1980, 81. This is, you know, like primitive compared to today. And the idea that people were making paintings on canvas back then was revolutionary in a lot of ways because nobody was doing that. Most people were still painting on trains for the most part.